Oh, there's my truck bed. Now, let me see if I can rotate this around. Push that little button there. There you are. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. End of the week. I hope you had a beautiful week and, you know, prosperous and productive and everything. Uh, here you are uh, Friday, and then you're probably still at the office, and it's time to quit work and uh, start watching some videos. <laughs> Look forward to getting out in your shop this weekend, I hope. Um, I am pretty much uh, uh, elated to be where I am today. I tell you what, a lot of things have happened here, a lot of work, a lot of solo work, but I had some good people in too to, to help me out on things. And uh, so I want to show you that, talk to you about that. Let's see. Um, let's see I think if you comment, I can see it. But I'm gonna get. I've got Betsy. She's in the house. She'll be looking at comments too. So if you got a question you want to ask, go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put a video up right after this. Uh, but I want to show you uh, South Africa. Wow. All right. Way out there. Let me know where you guys are from too. That's kind of interesting. Gee, what kind of day is it in South Africa? It'd be like, gee, that's the other side of the planet here, Lee. Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Baltimore. Nice to have you here. So it's, it's about uh, starting time. So uh, wow, there's a lot of you there. Thanks to everybody for joining us. I appreciate that. What you were looking at behind me is Seeker and she is, okay, there's a few spots I got to go back in and touch. Uh, I went down to a single source this uh, morning, picked up another gallon of uh, zinc primer, one more gallon of that stuff. And because uh, I got the places, so it's like, it's just not right. I got to grind it a little bit, get some wells back down. And we did a little more work up on the, uh, the bow rollers there. Um, Joel, uh, our, our cop crew from uh, uh, Norman came in a little bit yesterday and I put him up there. It's been raining nothing, uh, non-stop all morning, but uh, yeah, launch the, when are you going to launch the boat? Yeah, I know. And that, you know, I think I addressed that in this video that I'm going to release right now. So, I mean, well, after this. So, uh, yeah, when are you going to launch the boat? It's like the question of the century. But let me show you this. Which way are you looking? You're looking this way, okay. And you should be able to hear me better this time too, because I got a new fancy dancy mic on there. So let me turn the camera around and uh, see if you bitch about the. Uh, there we go. There's the park. See if you bitch about the uh, the sound on the mic. Well, see if I flip it around, it's always facing this way. Oh, it's when I do this. So testing one, two, three. Let me know how the mic sounds out there when it's like this. Okay. Then this is the other way. So I'll do it like this. Anyway, there it is. She is now the color differentiates that you see up there is because this paint actually has a different shade based on the temperature that you spray it on with and that's just the nature of the zinc paint um, and then uh, the other thing is there's a lot of sand up there still so I'm got my I got all the decks washed off and, and I have started uh, setting up my scaffold one last time no probably not uh, to wash off the, uh, the side of the boat because there's you can see there's our last bag of sand Marcus is coming over here a little later and he's supposed to pick that up put it, drop it in the back of his pickup truck but you can see there's a lot of sand just adhered to the boat so i'm going to pressure wash all that off it'll get pressure washed one more time before we start putting our next coat of paint on and uh this is again where i say thank you to uh move your hand Doug. where i say thank you to uh to blake over at single source because i went over there this morning got my paint we started talking about the rest of the paint to put on the boat and it's going to be a little different. Um, it's going to be better. It's what it is. And that's, I have to say thank you to everybody here, too, who has uh, supported us through any way uh, you can and uh, purchase our, our overpriced merchandise. You have made it where uh, painting this boat is a breeze. And especially thank you to Single Source uh, um, Industrial Coatings because uh, they have made it a cinch to, uh, to use the top quality stuff on this boat. So that's what we're going to be doing. Otherwise, I'd be slapping. Man, if I had to, I would put household enamel on that paint, on that boat to uh, get it in the water, but I don't have to, so uh, it's cool. Look at that, 30,000 pounds. That's 10 of these bags. The sand was laying out here, and it's all gone, okay? Shoveled up, hauled off. Actually, we didn't haul it very far. I took my fence down, and I, for all you uh, that have driven out in this field when it's too wet and left ruts, okay? You know who you are. We have filled in the ruts. They came and mowed it just the next day after I spread the sand out out there. And uh, Bart helped me out with that too. Uh, we got this thing just perfectly flat. And they loved it because uh, no bouncing around through, uh, through the ruts. Oh, thank you, Dax. Appreciate that. Um, let's see. Was there something else I wanted to show you while I was out here? I don't think so. Oh, the compressor is now for sale. I am done with sand. week or so. 
But uh, let me go in. I'll show you something else. Oh, now, if you are a bilge rat, bilge rats, uh, we refer to you know, the bilge rats or the people who uh, watch our videos. Look at this. I got my shit, my awning up finally. With the dogs barking. At. You want to say hello? Hey, okay, say hello. There you are. You see yourself? All right. Yeah, guard dogs, air conditioning guard dogs. So I put my shade up. It really makes a difference. If you have the opportunity to do this to your house, morning sun cooks the snot out of this wall. And uh, just putting the awning up, it has really made the air conditioner work a lot less on the inside there. Um, let's see. Yeah, okay, there's a couple other things I want to show you about too. Let me take my feet off. You know, I'm not carrying tons of sand on them this morning. Hi, Tinka, how are you doing? You want to say hello? Here you go. Say hello. Hello. Oh, Jezebel went back to guard duty stance immediately. Let me show you. Say hello, Miss Betsy. Hello. Hello. Oh, what's cool, I was talking about those paints. We're going to use, I've used this in the engine room in uh, Amerilock too, and it has uh, worked out real well for us. It's a very high solids, high quality epoxy paint, two part, two pack, I think is what you guys call it down there in Australia. And then we're going to use this on top. It's a polyurethane uh, Americoat uh, uh, 450 uh, high. It's a, and it's, it's, it comes in, and they can tint both of these paints actually, and they come in an array of colors. So but we're going to go with all gray for the hull and everything, just like over the, uh, so everything's zinc right now, so that's going to go over the zinc. And then this we'll put on as our color coat on the boat. And a special announcement, a lot of you guys watch a lot of other boat uh, uh, video um, makers on YouTube. And if you do, you know we support a lot of them through the sale of challenge coins. But if you don't watch this guy, real practical, all right? And this is Stu from Danger Marine. I always thought it was Danger Marine, but I can't read. So it's Danger Marine down in Australia. Stu has that channel. And he is a uh, very knowledgeable person when it comes to outboard engines. Watch his videos, not mine. I'll show you how to break them. He'll show you how to fix them. But he is coming through the United States. So he is going to be here. Uh, what's the date on that? Now let me back out of this high screen thing here. And 21st, I think. Don't, don't write anything. Ah, September 21st. Yeah, he's going to be here on September 21st. Uh, here at the boat. All right. There's look. There's where we we weren't even we weren't even sandblasted the whole way right there. Oh, it's done now. But anyway, come by and see Stu on that day. I think it's in the afternoon. Yeah, one to four p.m. here. So if you uh, happen to be moving through the United States, uh, or if you're in the Tulsa Broken Arrow, you know Tulsa regional area, or even Oklahoma City. I mean, he's worth coming up and seeing and shaking his hand. It's not a lecture thing. It's just a meet and greet, but we'll have some refreshments here. Hello? We, yes. Hello? Yes, we'll have punch and cookies. Punch and pie. I love punch and pie. It comes from South Park. You know, she didn't watch South Park, so punch and pie. She'll, she'll make pie. I know I, she will. What? No, you, I have a high school reunion that weekend. Not, not on this 21st. I do you too. don't. You do That's not. That's the big party. Is it? Well, yes. she'll bake stuff for us and she can go to her high school reunion. <laughs> You're so funny. She will. You are she'll so do it. funny. She'll do it or I'll tear down her room. You will not touch my room. I will tear it down if you don't bake pie. You can't stand it because there's just one chair. <laughs> it makes you crazy. Exactly. It kind of goes from your bro. Well, it's kind of a mess, but okay. It's a mess. It's she's, a work in progress. She's doing research. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell them a little bit about what you're working on. Okay. All right. Bessie's uh, dad did a lot of work on the Tulsa race ride, and so see that's not too bad. Now I know what that is. Those are those are that's don't a new, tell uh, yet. That's don't a tell new product. Yet. And uh, see, look at that chairs. Yeah, oh, God, it's wonderful. You're not sitting in it. What's this little lion thing here? I made that years did ago. You? Oh, this is lovely. Oh yeah, I need one like this. No, there's just room for one. Yeah, she has. A, she even has a TV set in here. I, I just sure use, do. I just use my computer. That's cool. I can watch you life size. That's right. Now, what Bessie's working on is is terribly interesting to me. Her dad started this in a, the Rice Riot Commission. If you don't know, and most people don't, Tulsa is the site of a horrendous race riot, race massacre, uh, uh, killing spree. You call it what you like. It was racial oriented, and then we killed. It's not, we as in us white crackers uh, went insane one day and uh, probably murdered somewhere in the range of 
Uh, we know 39, but the, the upper numbers go up to something, probably logically around 150, maybe even 300, maybe even more. But the thing is, they haven't found the graves from this. Now, this is back in 1921. This is the years where the, uh, the KKK had a pretty tight hold on, you know, it's like joining the Elks Club. If you weren't a member of the KKK, you weren't anybody. Um, and those attitudes prevailed at that time back here. And this is Tulsa. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's an interesting place. But the thing is that they haven't found, is they haven't found graves, right? No, no serious grave finds. No. So they don't know where... Not for the ones for the unknown people. For the unknown, which is primarily blacks. Now, whites died in this thing, too, because this was an all-out battle. There are 37 known dead. Yeah. And we know, the whites, we know that there's With probably... With death certificates. There's probably about 13, maybe, in there's there. There's 10. 10. So we know 10 of those are whites, which totally deserved it in this case. Because uh, it was, an, they, we and the, the, the white uh, group invaded the, uh, the northern, anyway, it's an interesting story, and there's some, uh, and there's some lies about it, too, there's, it's like anything of historical, there's some stuff that's like, oh, that's bullshit, but in the end, it is a tragedy, and so what's Betsy doing? Medicine. So Betsy is doing research, she's looking for every connection she can to uh, find, a grave. find the grave sites, and she found what we think might be a, a really good place. Well, it will definitely be look. So it gets passed on up the chain. There'll be uh, archaeologists and so forth involved with it. What I like about it is kind of the work that I want to be doing on the boat with Seeker is, you know, finding the truth about things, uh, whatever that truth may be, as horrible as it may be. Because I think by remembering these things, we remember that we are capable of this as humans to do grave injustices onto other people. And maybe when we keep that in our forethoughts, we're less likely to do that. Uh, let me show you um, one other thing. No, that's we it. We got product. You got product. Oh, okay, sure, product. We have new items. Yes. Yes. One is we could we couldn't get any more billies in red. Yeah. So Billy the bilge rat. That's the in end. In red. I didn't finish explaining what a bilge rat is. A bilge rat is uh, if you <laughs> you got this. Uh, you he got this. He threw him down I there. Know, he I'm fell sorry, over. Turn this around. You got the, oh, you got the, somebody, I don't know where that came from. But anyway, a bilge rat is, a, is an animal that rides along on a boat and doesn't pay anything or do any work, right? So if you're not a supporter, but you're a viewer of the SE Seeker, you get classed a bilge rat. Now, some people take high offense to that, and that's okay. They can go be offended someplace else, because that's really not the, the type of viewership we're looking to get anyway. So if you, you're, you know, don't have the ability to laugh at yourself, Bye. Come back when you do. Okay? But they're the first ones that are going to let you know when you're sinking. That's right. They're U.S. Coast Guard approved Billy the Bilge Rat. He's made with uh, transparent beans. If you check his tag from China, and uh, he will get off the boat before it when it's before it sinks. So if you don't have your bilge rat on board, you are not safe. But okay. fortunately, Safety we now board. have Billy's Irish cousin. Yes, and none of us can do an Irish accent. Seamus. I, Seamus. We tried. I can't do I can't I sound, I don't even sound like the guy with Lucky Charms, but Seamus is now the Irish version of Billy. Okay. And he's pretty cute and too. And then I've had people that 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 want my girls. Yeah, you can't. This is Regina, of course. That's and who made this the girls. Is, this is Fiona. Yeah. What I've done on the website on the page, the product page in the junk store, is I've I've put a video on there of a woman on YouTube that taught me how to make the hair. Oh, so okay. you two can make hair. You can make your own. You can you can and you dress can your own. You can name her whatever you want. Well, and that's the other thing too is is uh, uh, Regina, the name that rhymes with fun. She is wearing her costume, which is actually sewn by one of her viewers. So um, those of you that really get into the doll thing, hey, here you go. All right, there you go. She and, has a whole wardrobe. She yeah. has a ball gown and bikinis. Yeah. And they got pirate suits now. Oh, do they really? Mm -hmm. All right. So now, the other item yes. we have new. Some of you have asked for these. Is we have, I don't know how here, to show I'll, that. I'll, I'll show it. I'll just put it we up We have here. shot glasses, one and a half fluid ounces. They're nice. They're heavily weighted on the bottom, so it's not going to just fall over. All right. Let's see, if I put a piece of paper down inside there, you'll be able to see that on one side, there it is. It says, stolen from SV Seeker. And on the other side, it's got our blueprint logo, Chinese junk rig uh, logo on there. Anyway, these should show up on Amazon um, any day now. But on Amazon, they're they're decidedly more expensive than they are if you buy them from our junk store.
because Amazon sucks up so much of the profit right. that you know I had to make it worthwhile. So if you want them cheaper but slower, you buy them from our store. If you want them fast and more expensive, then you buy them from well, Amazon. Not necessarily fast. You can order them priority. Well, it depends from if you're at your but we had thing, you know, a lot order. of people that are buying them in sets of four. Yeah, do you get it? You don't. So get, do you give them a discount for that? Um, no. Not right now, but I've got them. I've got these marked down right now to only five bucks a piece in the store. So twenty right. bucks, you get a set of four. And all at this... some point, I'll probably up the buy alone price. Yeah. And keep the set at that. Okay. Also, on you can't get the green rats right now on Amazon. You can only get what's left of the red rats. Right. But on the junk store, you have a choice now between green and red. Yes, absolutely, that'll work for Irish whiskey. Okay, now here's the, here's the other deal, too. Uh, you're going to see a video that I'm going to post right now. In fact, I'm going to do that. Um, that is one that we had up for a couple of weeks now, and I actually have another one up there now that's kind of a summary of everything about the sand blaster. So if you're looking at sand blasters, it's everything I would have, would have loved to have known about sand blasting before I started. Those videos are for our patrons and supporters and that sort of thing, but it's really easy to get on that list. If you, and if you have bought something from the store, you can get on the list. All you got to do, take a picture of yourself with your SV Seeker product. You don't even have to be the one that bought the product. I don't care. Send email that to me at svseeker at ymail.com. Not G, Anki. svseeker at ymail.com. Send me an email. Send me your photo with uh, your, S your SV Seeker product. And I'll take your email. I'll stick you in an email list. And uh, as soon as I post videos up, it'll go out to you. And those videos are ad-free until they go public. So the one that you're getting ready to see now will have ads on it because you haven't sent me your photo with your SB Seeker product yet. And if all that offends you, once again, okay, go be offended. Uh, it doesn't bother me a bit. Uh, for everybody who's not offended and has supported us, thank you, man. We're putting together a really nice boat out there with some really lovely paint on it. So I appreciate it very much. Okay, let me turn the volume off there. Now, the only other thing is, yes, we have some openings this fall. Yeah, we do. There's just some openings on the calendar. So There's be sure you go to the website and look at About Us and welcome aboard to learn about coming to help Doug work on the boat. Yes. Okay, you got to go read that page first. Don't just, no, don't just show up. Bad, bad, bad. You'll bad, get in bad. trouble with my watchdog. That's me. Not that one down there. <laughs> that, one, that one down there is still sleeping. Okay, so there you are. Let me take, and if you're in the... the How come you went to, what? oh, because you're messing with no, it? I, no, I just hit some button there. Huh. And so I'm going to post a link to the video there. And there you go. So I appreciate Let's it. see. There you go, guys. Let me go back through your questions real quick here and see if I can answer anything. Oh, there's not questions here. There's uh, comments. Okay, if you left a comment... Cool. Thank you very much. Let me scroll back up. What about super chat donations? No, because I don't know your uh, who you are. Um, yeah, there's no way for me you to message me from YouTube anymore. So don't do the super chat donation and get um, anything off of that, unless I can figure out a way of telling who you are. And yeah, maybe I can. Well, if you posted your email address, that'd be kind of a thing. You know, most people don't like doing that. If you post your email address, like Dax. If you're not oh, around my supporter put it in there. this uh, you could put it on this list you do that I'll uh, you know what I think if you post your email address to super chat it actually doesn't show the comment it hides it but I can see it so uh, take a risk on that if you like so yeah you could we could do it through super chat like that way and I don't care how much money you have to, you make a donation or what kind of product you buy it didn't have to be anything that's not really the purpose here we're happy to have your support whether it be a you know a dollar a month or, or more right here. there's Tinka. See Tinka. Okay, let me look for question marks through this thing real quick. Where's Tinka? That was a big oh, there, question. Oh, there's a question mark. There's Tinka. She's just, she's on guard duty, holding down the cushion of the couch. You want to say hello? You want to say hello? No? You want to hide yourself? Man, this dog has insanely big ears. Okay, just in case you... It's a basset hound. Do you want to know? Um, let's see. Hey, hey, howdy. I don't see any real questions in here, which is okay. Okay, I'll look down through it a little bit more, but you've already got our other one. It's already going premiere, so I'm going to go over and join the premiere. Um, let's see. Yeah, okay. We have a, is this running already? Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, I'm getting an ad on the premiere, which I will skip here. 
There we go. Okay, the premiere video is running. Go over there and uh, join that with me. All right, we'll chat with you then. Once again, thanks everybody for your support. You're great.